Can't wait to see the Megaplox land. It's okay. I, I really think he should find another character, to be honest. I'm not saying his land is bad, but I think he could definitely pilot another character like he pilots Sophia. So I would want to see that instead of the land. Like, I, I feel like his Derek would be really good. Or his, uh, or maybe a Chili or so. He has a very fundies land. Yeah, exactly. And land doesn't really require fundies. He's just, he just presses buttons and wins. I think he, I think he has very good neutral and fundamentals. And land doesn't, he don't really give a shit about neutral, to be honest. He has a really good cookie and can. I would love to see that. Yeah, exactly. Cookie, cookie and can is somebody I really want to start seeing more of. But nobody plays him and it kind of sucks. He's a good character. He's just not easy to play because because of the meta but as i'm as i'm saying that we we do have the land and the civvy on screen right now and lily uh she's got a lot of damage direct onto megaplox right now but there is no jump so megaplox should be able to take this stock pretty easily right now i don't know oh, she is able to snap back to the ledge though okay oh that nope not gonna be able to get punished luckily that platform was there that could have been a huge punish for megaplox Okay, up air. No, the, the pre-patch up air definitely would have killed right there because it would have sucked him in. But this uh, the forward air from Civi going to be able to take that first stock off of Mega Plox. And now we are going to be seeing the S17 come on. Oh, no. That could have been so detrimental for his stock right there. He's already at 83%, and Lily is sitting at 147 on her first stock. How is Megaplox going to take this stock off the Civi? Great options right there. He was just baiting the jump, trying to get her to do something out of shield right there, and he did. Uh, he pulled the trigger on the side B once he hit the ground, and Lily was definitely not expecting that. But we are going to be seeing the Chili come out, and we all know the Lily Chili is nothing to be messed around with. Oh my gosh, the forward air going to be able to punish the recovery from Mega Plox. But now we're going to be seeing his best character come out. The best Sophia in the game right now. Definitely going to be seeing him put in some work. Hopefully if he can stop getting hit by this up tilt from Chili. We know it's a big move, but you got to get off that platform, my good sir. Yeah, he's in my Discord. Uh, great snipe for, uh, with the forward smash from Megaplox now. Oh my gosh, we got to deal with this Lily, uh, the Lily Tina. Oh, goes for a back air instead. Definitely not the option I was expecting from Lily, but I mean, she's still in pretty good advantage state right now. Megaplox, he's got to get some numbers on the board if he wants to take this game number one. Oh my gosh, that option um, from Megaplox was so beautiful. Oh my lord, yeah. Lily's just covering everything, but the the uh, the ledge drop jump wave dash onto the onto the stage was beautiful from Megaplox. But Lily ran away to a perfect distance to where there was nothing that he could he could have done after the fact that he was able to get back to stage. So currently, um, the set count. For, for both of these players, Lily is 3-0 right now in the tournament, and Megaplox is 4-0. So this could potentially be Megaplox's first loss and get sent to losers. And, um, I mean, it could be Lily's if Megaplox is going to be able to turn it around. I just don't know if he's going to be able to do so. Lily is playing out of her mind, but obviously what else are you going to expect from a player at the caliber like this? She might just be the best player her, MJ, or J Mafia. If J Mafia would just continue to play, those are definitely the top three for this game right now. But Lily was able to take the 10K tournament, but MJ was literally a hair off of winning that tournament. Missed his grab, and Lily was able to get hers. Um, maybe that might that might be a run back for the Grands in this tournament, but right now, Lily's got to get through Mega Plox. Andy, if you'd start playing, you might be able to be top three, too. I'm not 50 and 8. 
right. Okay. All righty, let's get back into the match. I'm not doing this with him anymore. We all know he's the biggest capper. And speaking of cap, why did they not nerf that move harder than they did? They said they did, but it's still pretty good. Just doesn't have the suction. But the knockback is just about there. Um, Mega Flox taking that first stock off of Lily, and she's going to be able to answer right back with the sweet spot on that back air from Yuri. Okay, gets the dash attack. Not going to be able to get the forward air. Great DI for Mega Plots. Oh, just giving Lily all of her orb for free. This could be a huge edge guard, but Mega Plots not even going to go for it. Lily going to be able to punish that forward smash. Lily has all of the Animus orbs racked up right now. Going to use two of them, though, with the neutral Bs. All she needs is one side B, and that might just be enough to take it. That's going to be a re-grab. What's the punish going to be? Oh, goes for the side B, knowing that it hits off ledge. Just wasn't able to get the last hits to connect. Throwing out these neutral Bs. Has two more Animus Orbs in the tank. That's going to be a back throw, though. Will he be able to get this edge guard? No, that should be it. Yes, it will be. Lily Bun taking that second stock off of Mega Blocks. This is his last stock for his winner's side. He's got to get back into this if he wants to potentially put a game on the board against Lily Bun. Megaplox is moving so swift right now. I don't know if Lily can keep up, but, I mean, she's got an entire another character to work with, so it might not even be that big of a deal. Megaplox has got to avoid all this damage and potentially take the Animus Orbs that Lily's uh, character is going to be able to drop so he can try to not have as much damage racked onto him if he is able to take this first or this stock off of uh, the Yuri. Oh, that should be a huge punish. He's going to go for the up B. Yes, he does. Doesn't get the sweet spot. I would have went for the neutral B right there. But either way, Lily finally not going to be getting her first tech. I don't think I've ever seen Lily miss a tech. But that was a crucial one to miss right there. Chili is an extremely light character. And Megaplox is playing Sophia. And we all know how strong this character can be. Especially with her kill confirms back throw sweet spot into neutral B. Into up B. All of that. And look at that. The game has been evened up. And that uh, that miss tech could just be the game for Lily if she does not get out of disadvantage right now. She is off stage i don't believe she has a jump right now gonna be forced to use the up b and mega Plock's gonna be able to punish it with a forward smash great comeback from him he's gonna be able to even the set count up one to one i don't remember that one i don't remember that agreement but i could have sworn it was sunday yeah it is actually crazy all righty getting into game number three this is the last match for this set right now now lily could potentially lose this and get sent to losers by mega Plox. is she dead all right ggs it's over mega but mega Plox is definitely going to be advancing after this one right now i'm just kidding we all know lily is able to make these comebacks but she's got to get through this land if she wants to do that and we all know how much extra credit land can dish on with uh literally just like two extra i actually thought it was going to die right there that would have been the stupidest way to die possible is SDing after you get a zero to death on Lily Bun. But as I say that, Lily is definitely racking up this damage right now. And she's got to take this stock extremely early. She does have the ability to get the health back from the Animus Orbs, but she's got to get a lot of hits in if she wants more Animus Orbs to drop. Yeah, Lily just playing very patient right now. Going to be able to punish that neutral B, or the down B, excuse me, with the back air. And that should be it. Yes, it will be. Lily only taking 43% on her second stock. And this Lily, I mean, this Yuri is definitely looking very good in this game number three right now. Now, will Mega Plox be able to do a lot of damage with this S17? Because if he does not, then this lead is definitely not going to be as much as he wanted it to be. And we all know Lily is known for bringing out that tech right there. Using that down B to punish the S17 blaster. We all needed it back when uh, S17's blaster was broken as life. Now it's not too big of a deal, but, I mean, you still can use that counter if you have it in your kit. Megaplox is definitely not playing as aggressive as he was before. He's always got his back turned, trying to fish for these back airs. 
Um, that is a pretty safe aerial on shield, but you have to space it right. And speaking of spacing, going to send Lily all the way to the edge of the space of the map with that forward smash. Now she's got to do everything in her power to win this game with this Tina. And yes, this character is broken, and Lily is broken herself. And what does two brokens make? It don't make a wrong. It's only going to make a right. So Mega Plox, you got to get this damage in. You do not want to get hit by a lot of these moves from Tina. I mentioned it before. Lily breaks this character. She breaks the game, and she's doing everything in her power right now to even this game back up. Mega Plox, he's not doing a bad job at avoiding the hits, but as I say that, giving him a little bit of a commentator's curse, and now this could just be very bad for him. Don't. Why did that kill? Why did that just kill? I don't. I think it was terrible DI, but it, that, that's besides the point. We got to get back into this game right now. Both characters sitting on, or both players sitting on their last stocks. 49% on Lily, 10% on Mega Plox. Okay, gets the back throw. What's he going to go for? Goes for an up air. I bet Lily is sweating so hard right now. She is off stage, and all he, all she needs, all uh, Mega Plox needs is one back throw into a neutral B, and that will definitely be the end of the game. This could be it. This could be it. That's it. I don't know. She's going to be able to make that back. Oh, my God. Didn't pull the trigger on the up B, and Mega Plox is going to send Lily Bun to losers. 